Significant and positive changes are taking place in the transportation industry in the U.S. Virgin Islands as it is becoming more accessible for people with disabilities. The Northeast ADA Center, headquartered at the Yangtan Institute at Cornell University, is playing a key role in that. Reliable, sustainable, and dependable transportation is a must. That's Yvonne Peterson with the Virgin Islands Developmental Disabilities Council. Her organization spearheaded a secret shopper survey in January of 2015 where people evaluated the entire public transit system on St. Thomas, St. Croix, and St. John to determine how accessible the buses and stops were. Some of the issues discovered were that bus drivers did not always announce stops, a major problem for blind or visually impaired riders, and a lack of signage and braille. The majority of the findings were something that were fixable through training. We recommended training, this training, training the bus drivers as to what to look for, how to be vigilant in ensuring that persons with disabilities were appropriately provided for when using the transit system. After the findings, numerous organizations in the Virgin Islands set out to provide trainings about the ADA for bus drivers. The Cornell Northeast ADA Center was very important in order to establish the framework for the training. The material that they provided, we used to work with the bus drivers, and from that training, they were able to understand the importance of complying with the ADA. Having that presentation from Northeast ADA Center was key to that. Now in the 2016, for the first time, bus drivers are announcing the stops. Wherever there's a stop, they announce that now. Another focus in the U.S. Virgin Islands is training taxi cab drivers to make sure they understand the ADA. In March of 2013, a young man who was visually impaired was denied access to a taxi because he had his service animal with him. That prompted the U.S. Attorney's Office to get involved and has led to sets of trainings being offered for taxi drivers. Assistant U.S. Attorney Noah Sachs works with the Northeast ADA's affiliate on the Virgin Islands, the Disability Rights Center, to offer the classes. We go to the Taxi Cab Commission and we provide this presentation and this training on the ADA. and We provide materials to the applicants and drivers. And I think that has definitely helped change the attitude of uh, a lot of the drivers and a lot of the other transportation providers on the island. The Northeast ADA Center, which serves New York State, New Jersey, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico, will be continuing to work with organizations and agencies on the islands to help ensure that people and businesses are educated about their rights and responsibilities under the ADA. With the Northeast ADA annual conference, it provided a forum for all the parties to sit down at one point and discuss these issues and learn about the law and so it provided a, a fertile ground of communication that did not really exist before. And I think that's the, one of the major things that's helped change the transportation aspects here in the Virgin Islands. Connect with the Northeast ADA Center at northeastada.org. The contents of this video were developed under a grant from the National Institute on Disability, Independent Living, and Rehabilitation Research.